This project actually started in 2016, where the university received funding from the European Regional Development Fund. With the money received, we were able to convert two classrooms into what you can see here today which is kitchen, lab and sensory analysis facilities. So far, we've collaborated with over 90 different companies across all categories. One of the biggest challenges that food startups face is accessibility to services. A food business may have a very innovative idea, but they might not necessarily have access to services such as new product development, scientific and technical advice, and also links to manufacturing and processing. Essentially, here in the Food Innovation Lab, we address all those issues under one roof. What makes us so unique here at the West London Food Innovation Lab is that we help support, guide and find potential solutions for clients and guide them through the NPD process. As well as helping companies with NPD within the facilities, we also offer networking workshops which are tailored specifically for startup companies in food and beverage sectors. Being part of a networking community is essential within the first stages of starting up a new company. I found out about the Food Innovation Lab through a fantastic resource on Facebook. It's actually called the Food Hub Group and it's run by the brilliant Bread and Jam. The biggest challenge that I faced was probably the cliche of time, money and resources and how best to go forward and work with a new product development for my social coffee tonic. The Food Innovation Lab supported me by really enabling me to start the initial idea to what the drinks become today and they really just gave me the expertise and advice which would have taken me personally many more months to do myself. Since the lab's support, we've actually done another stage of development and we've done a soft launch of Good Coffee Social Tonic, which is now available online. And we hope to be working with exceptional bars and hotel venues very soon. Some of the aspects of the uh, basic research uh, that we do will be related closer to the ingredients and the products that the um, companies uh, would use and we can extend those uh, projects further and we would be able to translate the information that we've got uh, from the sciences into everyday uh, processes that the company would use uh, in order to create those products but as well as to be um, reproducible, to have reproducible results. What makes us so unique here in the West London Food Innovation Lab is we are with the client throughout the whole process. Not only does the client have access to product development services, they also have access to technical and scientific support. So essentially what we're doing here is we're bridging the gap between food and science.